From Hollywood. That's right! It's the Tom Likas Show. We can't have anyone freak out out there, okay? We've got to keep our composure. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Tom. 1 800 5800 866. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. Shorter commercial breaks mean there's more show. I can't make it any simpler than that. 1 800 5800 Tom. They say January is the biggest month for divorces. Are you one of them? Have you given someone divorce papers? Have you received divorce papers? Are you about to have someone serve? I've got to know. Twenty eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom. It's Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How's it going, Tom? Great. Well, I was just listening to your show, and I uh, heard your topic, and I'm one of these people. My wife, after uh, saying that she didn't want to hang out with me and the kids... This uh, New Year's Eve went to a company Christmas, or not a company Christmas, a company New Year's party, and then the next morning came to me and said uh, she wants to separate, and she put it down on an apartment, got her own bank account, and uh, so, yeah, so it was first thing this morning, she'd stay the night at her employer's house, and then woke up that morning, came home, and then told me we're separating, and she's saying, no, we're not getting a divorce, but uh, we need to work on things. Wow. Yeah, so... What what you're saying? It's true. It's true stuff. January first. Oh, I didn't want to do it during the kid. You know, for the kids for Christmas. How did you react to this? How can you react? You either punch her in the face, or you say, "Okay, you know, you respect her as as a person," and said, "If you think this is best," I said, "I want you to rethink it. Make sure this is what you want to do, and if that's what you do, I support you." But I told her I wanted you know full custody of kids, and and we're going to go to court for it because she's not. She's not. Uh, she's got her own personal issues that she's got to work through, and it's not the most stable environment for the kids. So I said, "What, what issues are these?" Well, I don't know. She she's got a psychiatrist, and she you know had trouble past. And really, I probably should have listened to Like This 101 earlier in my life, and not gotten myself into this situation. But I got two great kids, and I can't complain about that. Yeah. Yep, but uh, pretty soon you'll be paying her to take care of those kids. Well, actually not. She uh, doesn't have a desire to take care of the kids, and I'm going to take them. Because uh, she's going to be spending the rest of her time boning her boss. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I don't know about that, but she's uh, she's actually being very cool. She's uh, she's a little bit of an exception to the rule in the sense that she's, you know, she got her year-of-the-end bonus, and she's given me half of it, and she's paying for our child care and all that stuff so she's actually owning up to her responsibility in that sense instead of making me foot the bill but she did leave me with a negative 206 dollars in the bank account so you know oh yeah that's really cool yeah i'm paying for it well she's she such a cool chick she took all the money out of the bank account that's she, cool she did, so cool well, you know, today today she deposited you know like 4500 bucks so <laughs> yeah but how much uh, had been in there well that that's a whole different story. No, it's not. We had we had three weeks before Christmas. You know, I, I had taken care of some, um, you know, some investments that I had, and I got about eight thousand out. And uh, about three weeks later, I had nothing. So I think that might have put, you know, her deposit first and last. You know, those oh. sort of things. I'm sure that's true. 
So, yeah, your listeners, they need to know that this is a true thing. This website isn't blowing smoke, and they need to listen to you a little bit more on relationship issues. I wish I would have done that. But, uh, I you told, know, I told you, I told you not to get married. I told I you. I know. I know. I actually didn't listen to you. I didn't find you until after I got married. So I was just flipping through the AM dial one day in Reno, and I was like, oh, this is neat, and started hearing you speak the truth and uh, realized that I was heading down a bad road, and so now i got to deal with those consequences. No doubt about that, Chris. Thank you for the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. They say that January is the month for divorce after the holidays are over. Is that happening with you? 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Ray on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how are you, Tom? Great. Hey, yeah, I I, was, I just couldn't help but uh, laughing a little bit from the guy that you were just talking to because I, you know, I, I stopped listening to you a long time ago and a really good friend of mine uh, that, that I went to lunch with today uh, su suggested, you know, you need a dose of Tom Likas. So that's exactly what I'm doing. And what a great... a. Uh, um, um, topic you have going on here and yes absolutely january i would believe would be the time uh my wife of um over 18 years uh was um has, has um has left and uh, we're going to be starting mediation probably ah, sorry. Ah, 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 ah. zero tolerance policy yeah. you can't say the s word on the air ray you can't jesus a new year i thought people would be turning over a new leaf well, go to our MySpace. It's myspace.com slash Tom Likas. And right there in my blog, I wrote with my own hand a list of the words you can't say without getting hung up on. So if you're not sure what those words are, and apparently many of you are not, go to myspace.com slash T-O-M-L-E-Y-K-I-S. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Scott on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Scott. How you doing? Great. Hey, long-time listener, uh, first-time caller. Cool. Uh, I caught my wife. Uh, I'm not going to tell you with who, but I'll tell you that uh, it is a uh, former pro football player that's uh, currently on trial. Caught her with him in a parking lot in the middle of the night. Really? Yes. What was that like? Uh, well, um, I can tell you that, uh, thank God, I have some sanity. Otherwise, uh, there may be two less people in the world today. Oh, my God. So you, you probably know who I'm talking about. I won't mention the name, but uh, there's a, a former football player that's currently on trial right now. And, uh, yeah, caught him in the parking lot together. I am uh, in the process of a divorce, and hopefully it'll be done in uh, February or March. Holy cat, were you shocked? Shock's not the word, but you know what? The best thing I ever did was get a vasectomy when I met this woman. Because <laughs> I have no children with her, but of course, she's going to try to go after everything I've got anyway. Yeah, but uh, you were a listener at that time, right? Um, actually, no. This is this goes back like 14 years ago, but I just uh, didn't want to have any kids with her. I see. So we've been together like 14 years, and you know, it just goes. I got three friends right now that are all going through the same thing, where their wives are between the ages of 35 and 45, and uh, all of a sudden the grass is greener. You know, I, I helped raise her children, and now that they're grown, uh, she doesn't need me anymore. Of course. Oh, well, that's right. And uh, this is why, of course, now you learned it the hard way. Uh, this is why I tell the guys, do not, do not, do not get married. Yeah, you're right. You know what? And if I would have been, if you would have been around when I uh, was thinking about it the last time. I, I, I was. I was here. Yeah. I, I was around. I was I on didn't... the radio. You weren't listening. Yeah. yeah, I listen to you every day now, and I'll tell you what, this is it for me. No I... more marriage for you. No more marriage for me, and i got to tell you, no children. I'm done. Forever. <laughs> so do you have any kids? I do. I, I was married the first time, but you know what's funny is um, that ended up in divorce also from a woman who uh, cheated on me as well. And uh, luckily, I got custody of my kids, and I raised them till they were adults. But you didn't learn. Uh, no, I didn't. You know, and it's, it's like putting your hand in the fire. How many times do you have to get burned 
before you realize that the fire's hot. Right. So you know what? You're doing a great service to, to uh, everybody out there, and uh, I listen to you regularly. Well, I, I'm glad to hear that, Scott. Now you have to stay strong and not get married. That's right. Why buy that's the right. cow when you can milk it to death? You betcha. Absolutely. And uh, that's the future plan. <laughs> Once she is a cow, uh, stop milking. That's it. <laughs> that's it. All right, Scott. I, I, I don't need you to blow me up or anything else. I don't use any foul language. I'm just telling guys that their women are going to cheat. It's just a matter of time. All right, Scott. Thank you for that. Jeez. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Imagine, imagine you're married and you show up in a parking lot and you find your wife with an NFL star. By the way, off the air, he told us who it is. <laughs> it's bad enough finding your wife cheating. All right, uh, it's January, and they say that uh, January is the biggest month for divorce. Are you going to be getting one? Did you just find out you're getting one? Are you about to serve someone with papers? Did you do it today? Did you do it on New Year's? 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Nick. Uh, I'm sorry, Mick on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Yes, Tom. How are you, Tom? Doing great. Yes, a long-time listener, first-time caller, Tom. Yes. Tom, I got divorced on January 1st in 1992, and uh, she left my... A home without noticing me, and uh, I had a two kids, you know. Uh huh. So one daughter and one son. So the daughter was twelve, son was fifteen, and just disappeared. Really? She just disappeared. Yes. She just disappeared without uh, any, and all of a sudden, after a week, I uh, received that divorce paper. And really. Yes, this has happened 15 years ago. I raised my kids, both of them. So she left you and the kids. Yes, yes. And Tom. and you had no idea where she went. I don't. I don't care, Tom. I understand. Yes, yes. I just raised my two kids, and my son is now 29 and 26, his daughter, and I'm proud of them. And I did good job. I never asked any money. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm hanging in there. Well, I'm, gl I'm glad. I'm glad you raised your kids, and I'm glad they turned out okay. Uh, you're very lucky. Yes. But uh, my God. Yeah. What can we do, Tom? I don't trust the females. I never. Here's did. what we do. Don't. I never. I never don't. Trust. I don't. Don't get don't. married. That's I'm what not getting married. Well, but that's what we do. Okay, as men, this is what we do. We don't get married. Yeah, we're just, we're just banging them and I'll just uh, uh, put it on the side. Right. That's all we do. That is all we do. You are right. 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's James on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Okay. Now, I understand you're not getting a divorce, but your parents are. Yeah, my parents are. How, how did this happen? Tell us the story. Uh, well, since uh, November, they've been, you know, fighting and, you know, my dad is sleeps on the couch and stuff. Do you know what happened in November? Uh, actually, I don't. I'm not sure. It's just all of a sudden they started fighting all the time. And I think my mom was having an affair with some guy at work. And, uh, and um, well, I guess my dad was talking to me during Christmas saying that that this that they might get a divorce and because he doesn't want to be with her anymore. And uh, he said that he was going to do it after the holidays because he didn't want me. He wanted me to have both of my parents there. So after, so right now they're currently getting a divorce. My dad is living with his brother. Wow. Yeah. Holy cow! How did you react to that? Well, I guess I mean, I'm, now I'm old enough to real to realize that you know this was bound to happen. Most people do anyway. So, um, I mean, I don't really care. I never really like my parents. Did your mom ever talk to you about what happened or what she did or why she did it? No, she's right now. She's just going through some stupid phase where she's going out to clubs with her friends and drinking and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, my dad's at home taking care of us. Yeah. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. No. Anyway, Tom, um, keep doing a good job, man. I listen to you every day. I'll never get married, bro. Can you take me out with that message that Dino got from that lady? Dino's voicemail. I yeah. certainly can. 
here it is right you now. Know, you are the biggest asshole I've ever met in my entire life. Your like is 101 sh is completely retarded. Okay, you just got lucky, hon. Let me tell you, it will never happen again. You are such a piece of sh I didn't know what this Tom like is. I'm so cool, and these are my rules. That's such bull Tom like is. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom like is show. It's the Tom Likas Show. Six days a week is when you hear us on 97.1 FM Talk in Los Angeles and blowmeuptom.com. That's right, Monday through Friday from 3 until 8 p.m. And Saturdays from 2 until 6 p.m. So uh, it's not just for weekdays anymore. The Tom Likas Show, six days a week. On 97.1 FM Talk, and uh, if you're listening to us online or can't hear us on the radio for some reason, just go to blowmeuptom.com, click on the Listen Live button. Any of the hours we're on the air, and you'll be listening when our show be in broadcast. That's right. 20 800 800 tom uh, Divorce lawyers say that January is the big spike in divorce activity. I'm wondering if that's you. Let's say hello here to Lewis on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Tom. Hello. How are you? Do you care? <laughs> Your phone cut out, but I'll tell you I'm doing great. Good to hear, Tom. Well, uh, let me tell you my story here. Uh, well, you know, first of all, uh, just for your listeners, I've pretty much broken every single rule in your book. Uh, you know, I'm 31 years old, and, uh, you know, I got married before 25 uh, to a single mom, ended up having kids with her, and, you know, same for now. Uh, you know, going through, uh, decided to file for divorce this month. And, uh, you know, just, she, you know, ended up buying her a new rack and she decided to test it out with a new coworker. You know? <laughs> well, by the way, millions of times on this show, not even thousands, not even tens of thousands, not even hundreds of thousands, millions of times on this show, I have told you, never get a boob job for somebody you're with. I've learned that lesson the hard way, Tom. <laughs> you know, if they don't have big boobs going in and big boobs are important to you, don't marry them. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, basically, you know, I, I, I kind of held off on doing it during the holidays more for my kids. Uh, you know, fortunately, in, in, the, in the process, we've agreed on joint custody. So, you know, there's no there's no issues with child support there. But, uh, you know, in the long run, I've, I've lost out. You know, I've ended up, you know, I sold two homes. Because of her, and, uh, you know, just, you come to realize that, you know, some people, they're just never satisfied with their lives. Yeah, but uh, you should have realized that. <laughs> I, I realized that a little too late. <laughs> well, how long have you been a listener here? I started listening to you about three years ago, uh, off and on. Uh, at first, it was more of a, uh, at the time I was married, and, and my wife pretty much hated you, like most women who listen to your show. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, I became a listener, and then, you know, I, I started educating myself. And, you know, I've been separated for about a year. Uh, I don't know why I waited so long to divorce. I uh, don't know what I was thinking at the time. Well, you know uh, why uh, she hated the show and why other women hate the show. It's because now, as you have seen, because I'm telling the truth. What I was telling you three years ago turned out to be true in her case. Definitely. Most definitely. You know, it's interesting because my father comes from the same school of thought that you do, and... and you know, he told me many times, and I just didn't want to listen. And, you know, started listening to your show and going, damn, he was right. <laughs> I could have saved you a lot of money. Could have. <laughs> Thank you, Lewis. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Ronnie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How you doing? Doing great, Ronnie. Well, I'm celebrating D-Day this year. Really? Filing the annulment today. Is that so? That is so. Now, tell me, why, tell me why you picked January to get a divorce. Well, Tom, I just found out that my husband has a third child that I didn't know about. I knew about the first two, two different babies' mamas, and now there's a third one, and I'm done. <laughs> really? Yeah. But, but, now, but the now, fact, that, now, haven't I told you on this program many times? that uh, anybody who's got baggage from previous relationships is to be avoided? 
Well, you know, Tom, I have kids, too, from my previous marriage. And, you know, I felt like this guy, I kind of took pity on him. I thought, you know, maybe he, he had just been given a difficult hand in life. And I thought, you know, with the right woman and the right chances. <gasps> and you thought that... you, of course, <laughs> you had the magic vagina. Right. Well, the magic vagina, the magic wallet, the magic everything, you know. Wow. I thought I could fix all of his problems, you know. And why, Why, by the way, why do you need to be a fixer? Were your parents alcoholics, drug addicts or something? Oh, you know what? Actually not. I was in a very healthy household growing up. I had a very healthy marriage. My first marriage, we were together 12 years, had two kids, was a stay-at-home mom. But, you know, decided I needed something different. I went to the wrong side of the track, opposite side of the track, tried to get a little, I don't know, excitement, romance, passion, and uh, just found it with the wrong person. No, no, but the darling, when you go to the wrong side of the tracks, that's the way it always is. Oh, Oh, I guess I was looking for something that I hadn't had growing up. Darling, when have... you go to the wrong side of the tracks, you go there for the night. You don't now you don't call you I don't will. call Thank United you. Van Lines and move over to the wrong side of the tracks. You visit and you get the hell out of there. Okay? You're so as right. You're as so anyone right. who's gone to a bad neighborhood to get chicken and waffles will tell you. And I've done it. I'll tell you right now, I've gone to some of those dangerous neighborhoods in America to get some of the best food. Okay? Well you know, Tom, let me tell you. You, you go do. there, you, you, you dine, uh you have a nice evening, and then you get in your car and you go home. Exactly, exactly. But that's not so that's, what you did. You moved into the worst neighborhood in relationship hell. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And I, I, I guess I tried to buy a fixer-upper, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but no matter how much money I poured into that house, it was not going to turn into a mansion, you know? Yes. <laughs> so moving on, never going to do that again. Never Guys, I get always say on this show, Ronnie, women love to buy fixer-uppers. That's true. That's true. And Tom, I just have to tell you, you do such a service to men out there by telling them to keep it covered, keep it in their pants. And you know what? When boys go out there, they start spreading their seed. You're going to ruin it because a girl like me isn't going to want to be with you anymore. When you find out about another kid, another kid, you're going to find a good woman. She's going to drop you. Why would you even be surprised by this? This is the thing that gets me. You knew he was from the wrong side of the tracks. You knew he had problems. You thought you were fixing it. I Why would this be surprising? Why did you use that as the excuse to get rid of it? No, I can't. I can't say I used it as the excuse. I yes. thought that you know, if I helped him out, and uh, you know, he he really had a whole lot of nothing going on when I met him. So I thought maybe if the right person came along, helped him out, gave him some support. So you were not capable of getting anybody really good. Oh, you know what? I am now. I, I think I needed a little bit of, uh, you know, someone to help me feel better about myself. And he did that. He did that. How did he do that? Him- by being such a loser that he made you feel uh, superior? Um, no, not by being a loser. But, you know, when, when someone like that adores you and they worship you and this and that, you know, it does make you feel kind of good about it. Really? You. So when homeless guys on the street say, hey, sweetie, you, you're hot, <laughs> probably, makes I you feel good? Better luck. <laughs> I mean, come on. I know, I know. Us women do dumb things. We certainly do. Well, he's very hot, you know, and when you find a hot guy and he's worshiping your feet, you know, you kind of, you get a little swept aside. He's a hot guy. He was a loser. (laughs) Yeah, unfortunately he was, and it took me a little while. Did you have any kids? Did you have any kids with him? Oh, thank God. He wanted to really badly. He was begging me, begging me to have a kid together. and Thank God I did so, and, and why didn't you? Uh, because I was the one working. I was the one working, and I was the one making the money. You know, I went to college. I have a great job. And So, uh, God forbid, God forbid he had a job. Uh, oh, no kidding. No kidding, man. Unbelievable. Yeah, it is. It is. I mean, but- I'm not going to tell you that I haven't been with bad girls, because I have. But yeah, well, yet, they're yet, fun. They're fun. For but you, but right? you do. You rent. You don't buy. You know. <laughs> I know that now. I know that now. But I'll never do it again. I'm never, ever, ever getting married again. It's the biggest waste of time and energy. Got to go through the divorce process and the money. All but why over. even have a relationship with losers? Oh, I, I'm not anymore. Now it's stop just- being a fixer. <laughs> 
I'm going to enjoy my money now. Just are you? Like, I mean, really? Are you a therapist? Are you a PhD? Do you have any special uh, ability in this area? No, no, certainly so not. So you're not a psychiatrist. No. You're not a psychologist. No. You're not a licensed clinical social worker. Oh, I am in the medical field, but not in the health. Not well, in you the have no degrees science. in the area of helping people who are losers. Uh, well, I'm a softy, but let me tell you, I'm going to enjoy my freedom, enjoy my money, enjoy my friends, just like you tell all your guy listeners, that's exactly what I'm doing now. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Thank you for your advice and keep it up. <laughs> Thank you, Ronnie. Jesus Christ, women do the same thing. You think it's just guys who hook up with losers. Look at that. She hooks up with him through the wrong side of the tracks. Then she breaks up with him, but she finds out he's got a third kid from a previous relationship. <laughs> That's when she knew he was a loser. The fact that he had two kids from a previous relationship, that was not a red flag. It's when she found out about the third that he crossed the line. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. They say that January is divorce month. This is when the number of divorces spikes, according to divorce attorneys. Are you involved in one of those divorces? Is that you? 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Reezy on the Tom Like a Show. Hello. Hey. Hi. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about my voice. I'm actually sick. Reezy. So. Uh-huh. Reezy. Reezy? Uh huh. Really? R I Z Z Y. So, Rizzy. Rizzy. Uh huh. Rizzy. Uh huh. Not Rizzy. Um. Well, my mom and my dad are in the process of divorce. My mom actually wanted. To How did you get a name like Rizzy? Um. Your parents well, my... were your parents were in Japan watching the Jeffersons. <laughs> no. Oh. My mom's name is Zenaida. My dad's name is Rizalino. My real name is Riza. But people all end up calling me Risa, so I was like, no, it's okay, Risa is fine. Okay. <laughs> so that's why. Well, uh, my mom and my dad are in the process of divorce. My mom has actually been wanting to break, um, I'm sorry, um, to divorce my dad ever since we were born. I have two, um, one brother and a sister, and I'm the youngest. And um, it actually didn't happen. And then my dad came here, and my mom was left in the Philippines, so... My mom has been wanting to divorce him, but it didn't happen up till I'm um, 20. So now they're in the process of divorce, and I'm excited, and I'm really, really happy because I don't want to live with my dad. I lived with my dad for seven years, and I hated it. And I'm so glad that they're done. It's the, the divorce is about to be end, so I'm, I'm just glad about it. Wow. Yeah, I know. Now, I do, you still, do, you still, do you still live at home? And, well, my dad is in Chicago, so I left him there because he kicked me out and because of my mom, because he, he was telling me that I'm on my mom's side. So I was like, okay, well, he kicked me out, so then I moved here in Cali with my mom. Really? And I, and yeah, and my mom was actually, my dad would actually call here, and when my mom said that she's okay with the divorce, my dad was, like, saying to us that, um, so, did you ask your kid? Are they fine with it? And I was like, oh, my God, go for it. Go go for it. I'm, like, more than ready, more than happy to do this. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and, I'm, and, I'm, and you know what? I agree with you. It's in the month of January is the divorce time of the year. And I love it. I'm, I'm glad that this is going to be over because my mom is about, she has a boyfriend and I'm happy for her. And I don't really care about my dad. Whatever he does, it really doesn't matter to me. Of course, remember, your mom chose your dad. Exactly. So you, you can exactly. only imagine and what the next guy is going to be like. And I told my mom that, you know what, I'm never going to get married. And especially to that kind of person that you did, uh, you married to. So I'm never going to get married. Just like what you tell your guys. How old is your mom? She's 49. 49. Yeah, she she looks young too. That's why she actually got a boyfriend who is who is um young. So, and my dad is 55. So, uh, my dad I really don't care about him. And actually, we talked on Christmas and he he asked me if I was okay with the divorce thing. And I was like, "Oh, you know what? It doesn't matter to me." But I, I just acted that, you know, it's just for respect that I told him that whatever you want. But inside inside me, I was like, "Oh my god, I'm so happy this is going to happen because I've been wanting to." Oh <laughs> I've been wanting god. them to divorce because they do not get along. They do not get along and every time they would just talk on the phone. It will never be like uh it will never be like you know like a normal conversation. It would always be like 
swearing, calling names,、oh. um, yelling at each other, never in a normal conversation. It was crazy. I'm like, how do you guys live like this? I don't know how you live being around it. Tom, 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom, Tom 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. Don't worry, we haven't forgotten. It's a whole new world out there. New president. And we'll have more to say about Barack Obama coming up at the top of the hour. Unless you're listening to this on tape, in which case, God only knows what you're getting at the top of the hour. Ah, ah. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. January. Divorce month. What do you think about that? Kim on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi there. How are you, Tom? Hi there. Great. <laughs> I'm a 15-minute listener. Um, I've never heard your show before until 15 minutes ago. I got in a vehicle and it happened to be on、uh, your program. And I was so surprised、uh, at what I was hearing that I had to call in.、Um, I, What are you I, surprised at? I, I was surprised because the first couple of callers that I heard were talking about, or you were talking about,、um, no marriage and how,、uh, I guess, this. this Advocating no marriage and how people are, I guess, dishonest. And, and I was surprised. I've never heard your show before, and I thought, I'm, I'm calling in. I mean, I understand that、uh, women can be real putzes sometimes, but I was surprised to hear some of the s t u f that I was hearing. What, I'm still not、uh, clear on what you're surprised about. Well, you're advocating no marriage. And for guess, men. Are, I'm advocating、oh, it for men, but not for women. Well, women can do what they like.、Uh, I think there are benefits to women to get married that men don't get. Oh, okay. Well, see, that's, I'm, I'm not understanding the full spectrum here because I've only listened for just a few okay. moments. Okay. The full spectrum is that、uh, men get screwed in divorce. Because women are ridiculous. Well, but that's my point. That,、uh, we don't want to marry anybody else if we're going to get married. So, what I recommend to men is date, have sex. If you must have children,、uh, just don't let a woman move into your place. Hmm. And you, th- and you think that's for everything, everybody. You think every situation is like that. Well, I, let me, again,、uh, even a broken clock is right twice a day. You know, <laughs> the, you, we always read the story about the person who fell out the、uh, 10 story window and then survived. Okay. That does happen. Okay. But not often enough. Okay. You don't want to try falling out the 10 story window, do you? Absolutely not. I, 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 guess, I guess my thought is that、uh, as a woman, I, I love men. I love everything that they are. They're, they're the opposite of what I, everything that I am. So I love that part of it. Hold on, baby. And、um, I, just, I, I, I understand that there are some women that are really hard to get along with, and they do. I've, I've got a couple people in mind of women that are my friends that, that quite frankly, disgust me. Um, but at the same time, I was surprised to hear to just the advocating that no marriage thing. I think that's part of the beauty of the marriage, and I find that in my marriage, anyway, that it gets better with time. In the rare instances where marriages work out. Look, let's face it one out of two marriages ends in divorce. And, and by the way, those are the people who get divorced. How many people are miserable and stay married for the kids because of the cost of divorce?、Yeah. Because they don't want to embarrass the parents for religious reasons, whatever. The, the, the vast majority of people who are married don't end up happy. Right. And so why take chances if you're a man with all you have to lose? Well, what about then, then if that's what you're saying, then what about prenuptial agreement? Even with a prenuptial agreement, you still have to pay a certain amount for the privilege of being married. Which, which is what? The, well, I heard one caller talking about、um, uh, fake boobs.、Um, are, is that what you're referring to? Well, I mean, as an I... example, any, any two people who get together, your boob size when you get married should be your boob size. That's it. It's locked in now. You're locked and loaded. And you do not need to change your boob size. If you needed to do that, you should have done it before you got married. Uh, yeah, no, I would agree with that, but <laughs> I'm, just, I'm really shocked about your program. I was just listening and I'm thinking, wow, that's something I haven't heard before. Yeah, I tell the guys, date,、uh, do what you like, fall in love, but 
Don't be giving women your ATM card. Don't be giving them the key to your place. Do not sign any contracts. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, a uh, marriage agreement is a contract. Right. No, and I I do understand that part of it, but I guess for me, um, as, when I'm married, everything that I have also is for my husband. Uh, well, 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 while you're married, but if you found out that your husband was having sex with your best friend, you wouldn't feel that way anymore. You'd no. want to have everything he has. No, I disagree with you. In really? Fact, this is, yeah, this is, where, this is where I would disagree. And if my, my husband... Excuse me, my grandson's getting impatient with me. If my um, husband had an affair with somebody, I would be all about, if, if that's what you want to do... What if it was you your best friend? It. What if it was your best friend? Um, you go for it. Your worst you enemy? Can, you can have each other. It's what about all, your mom? But what if, okay, my your mom sister? Can, yeah, no problem. It would oh, be okay. Well, you realize most women I, could not I, handle that. I see what you're saying. You mean it's had an affair with one of my siblings or my mom? Is that what you're saying? Right. <laughs> so or your or your or your daughter. Yeah, that would be that'd be pretty disgusting. But isn't that then sort of reversal of what you're saying that men are actually capable of doing that? Of course, men are capable of doing that. And so if you, you don't you sign a contract, nobody can give you a financial penalty for doing it. So are you, in a sense, then warning us that these are all possibilities? Well, that... no, no. What I'm what I'm saying is that why, since men have these desires, why even bother getting married? Why sign a contract? You think it's impossible to be monogamous? No, I don't think it's impossible. I don't think it's impossible that Santa Claus is coming to town. I think it's <laughs> highly unlikely. Got you. <laughs> Oh, well, I, I don't even know what to, what else to say. I just think, um, I, I, I guess I want the men out there. I don't know. I'm not familiar with your show. I don't know where it airs. Um, on the radio. I, on the radio, but I don't know which areas it airs. But, but to all the men there, we love you anyway. <laughs> you can love us without signing us to a contract. And that's, that's cool with me. I'd be fine with that, I guess. I just... Uh, I, I feel bad that there are some women out there that are horrible people, um, and I'm sure there's men out there that are horrible people also. I just don't think it's a majority, and, um, you know, shame well, on Well, it, it is a majority. Uh, I'm not saying there aren't happy people. I know there are. Yeah. My parents married for 40 years, but they got married in 1955. Wow. Uh, you know, life was different then. Right. And you my, know, your wife didn't have Facebook and MySpace and Twitter. Right. Uh, your wife didn't have a cell phone with her own phone number and her own voicemail and her own passcode and uh, right. her own uh, 27 different email addresses on Hotmail and Juno and God right. knows and where I'm, else. Yeah, and I'm not really, and I'm 46 years old. I'm not really into that either. My parents also have been more married for 46 years. Yeah. And, well, um, you know, there are women who are married who have a MySpace page. Now, what does that tell you? Yeah, and I, and I don't really understand that. I, oh, no, no, I, 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 let me explain it to you. Okay. They cheat on their husbands. Is that what it's all about? Of course, it's for hooking up. Well, I'm, I guess I'm out of the loop. But what is, loop. What, have you ever looked at MySpace? What is social networking, anyway? Well, well right, I understand that it is about that, but I always understand it's that when it my was. hand networks with your ass cheek. That's social networking. What's the again? When my hands uh, uh, networks with your ass cheek, it's social networking. <laughs> social networking. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Call me anytime, Kim. See, now, Thank now, you, Tom. look at you. You've got a new radio show to listen to. Oh, that sounds great. I'm going to. Sounds good to me. Okay, take care. All right. Here's Dave on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Yeah. Hey, Tom. Yeah. Well, uh, there's a fair amount of backstory, but to, to kind of cut to the chase, uh, yeah, recently I stumbled uh, into a computer that was open to uh, my wife's Facebook account. I guess the uh, the messages or the inbox or whatever page, and I'm not the kind of person to look and snoop. I'm, I'm just I'm not that guy. But I saw right in front of me some of the subject lines. And basically couldn't resist, and so um, clicked around and basically saw some things that I didn't like. Um, I'm pretty dissatisfied about it. Kind of a sad sap right about now that, that your topic of divorce in January struck home because I think it's on the table and we really need to, to kind of make some decisions. 
and it's difficult because uh, we've got a, a, a really, really wonderful little boy. Uh, and so I just totally see the, the pain that people go through uh, with, you know, geez, do we stay together for the kids and all that kind of crap. And it's really fighting my my DNA, which I felt from a young age that I just would not stay in a relationship if it wasn't good just for the kids. I just wouldn't do that. Call me selfish. Uh, but now I'm that guy. I'm, I'm, I'm at that decision point where, uh, you know, the logic is probably right in front of me. You know, what, yeah. what you need to do. So what are you going to do? I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to bide my time and make, you know, it's a big decision. So uh, without getting more long-winded uh you know i'm I'm also kind of in between jobs so i'm I'm already like in a mentally low point right now like i said kind of a sad sap so i'm a little hesitant to make the big decision so you haven't told your wife what you know no i did i confronted her and what'd you say uh almost ridiculously she denied pretty much all of it i can't believe you were looking through my things first first was denial no, not, that's not true. And then it was, you know, I heard the anger build. <laughs> and, and it was, well, wait a second. In the first place, you shouldn't be looking at this. Stuff. And I said, listen, I'll go ahead and, and give you an apology for that because that's the way I am. I'm a pretty solid guy. I just said, look, you know, I'm not that kind of guy. But it was right there. And I saw the subject lines. And, and I clicked, you know, not half a dozen times and saw this nonsense. And... You know, now how are you going to tell me? How are you going to tell you it's not you? Of course. It's the Tom Likas Show.